Okay, so here I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate your track and ground speed um, on your CRP5 computer, see on the wind side of the computer. Um, so in this question we have the TAS which is 132, the heading true is 053 and the wind is 250 at 15 knots. So um, as with all the others, the first thing you want to do when you've got the wind is put that in first. So we'll go to 250 slide our slider to the bottom so that it sits on zero and measure down to 15 and put our mark there okay and we know that our TAS is 132 so we'll put our TAS dot which is the centre dot on the 132 mark which is there which you can see okay so the next thing we want to do now is rotate the wheel until we get 053 under the true heading which is stated there which is that point there that is 053 then you simply leave it as it is and count how many marks the dot is over on the left here so we know that that's five, so the dot is three clicks to the left. Now to calculate our track from that, what we do is we take our true heading and we minus the three from that true heading. And um, We minus it because it's on the left. If it was on the right hand side, we'd add it, but we don't because it's on the left, we minus it. So we now know that our track is zero, five, zero. And for our ground speed, we simply read off where the dot lies in between the ground speed markers. So we know that uh, that's 144, that's 146, dots lying in between the middle. So we know that our ground speed is 145 knots. And it's as simple as that. So the answer is 050 at 145 knots.